Hi guys, welcome back to Happy Camper at Home Arts and Crafts. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good. Week three of our journey around the world is gonna take us further south, but still in the Americas. We're gonna visit South America. This is kind of a, a nice pattern that we're going to just scooting on around the world. Yeah, I wonder where we're gonna go next, next week. I don't, I don't know. remember. I'll we'll have to wait and see. I have to check my tickets. Yeah, that's right. Check check your tickets. So today we're going to do this um, activity called, I think it's called Hojalatas. It's H-O-J-A-L-A-T-A, -A -A, which is a fancy word for um, tin art or metal art. Metal art was very popular in um, the early times in South America because metals were a little bit more um, like easy to find the copper and the gold and the silver. Interesting. And, yes, and one of the things that um, in, in both Central and South America was that the tin was easier to find and yet it looked silver and shiny and so sometimes um, they would sell their art for more money because they would trick the people who were buying it into thinking it was silver. Interesting. Yes, so that is your little historical fact. Fun facts. Yes, so for this art project, you are gonna need your foil piece of paper or your foil sheet, your cardboard square, you are gonna need your glue stick. Got it. Uh-huh, and some yarn. And of course, your Sharpies, because we're gonna add some color and design to this. Now, some a little ad additions. You can also use um, your paintbrush. We're not gonna paint on it, but we're gonna use this tip down here. And um, a, if, if you have a pencil at home, you could use, I have a mechanical pencil that I have not, not clicked out, but I've kept the lead inside because that's um, something else we might use. And then some scissors. And there's two different ways to do this art. One of them is um, called embossing and the other one call, is called indenting. And I think Otter is gonna take the embossing and I'm gonna take the indenting. So either way, um, I also have prepared a couple of um, designs that are animals. I have a butterfly, a bird, and some fish designs on here. And these are, Megan, these are gonna be in your packet too. So in your box is a packet of arts and crafts with all the instructions for um, our journey around the world and that'll be in there. Yes. And this is really just to get your brain working. You don't have to use these. You can do a simple design. Um, and some people, if you want to draw, you may want to use your pencil to draw on your cardboard before you start your indention or your um, embossing. Really, the drawing would be more for the embossing mm -hmm. than the indention. Okay. So if you wanted to draw your design first, you would start by drawing your design. Since you're doing the embossing, I'll throw your, a pencil your way, but you don't have to. So if you yeah. wanna be precise and draw a design and sort of do some folk art, um, those are some suggestions for that. But if you're not gonna draw your design, if you're just gonna go for it, you're gonna start by taking your glue stick. And with when you're using your glue stick, you wanna be super duper generous and you're gonna cover your whole piece of cardboard in glue. Glue stick. Um, oh, is yours not as good as mine? Oh, yours is not as good as mine. Mine is working really well. Okay. And mine is a special kind that is purple, so you know that it's not dry yet. So I'm going to share mine with you because you're, it's more important for you to get your um, glue down. So once you have your glue on your cardboard, if you're going to do the embossing, that means your design is going to stand out from the foil. Um, and so we've given you this yarn to sort of start making your design. And depending on what design you're making, you may need to cut your yarn into different lengths. Um, for example, if um, I'm just going to like make a I'm going to show you an idea and then you may, um, I'm going to take it off mine just so that um, since I'm doing the indention, I won't need to keep mine on there. But like if I wanted to just do a swirl on mine, um, I would just put my, cut my yarn and put it down. And Audra's gonna work on hers, um, on her. Do you think, so I've covered that with glue. Do you think that's enough? Yeah, that might be enough. Um, you can always add more, 
if you find that it's drying too quickly for you to get your design down. Okay. Or um, if you feel like it's not sticky. Um, it really is not going to matter what color I use of yarn, right? It because doesn't. it's going to get covered up anyway. Yes. yes. So I think I'll just use the... Are we going to use the black? No, go for it. Because I'm going to do the indention. And since the, since the indention is a little bit different, um, my next step, since I'm doing the indention, is just to put my foil on top of my... Um, on top of my cardboard on that glue as, as smooth as I can. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to throw some glue on the back that because I'm going to take my foil all the way um, around the back and glue it down so that we have a just a foil square to work with. Um, and I'm also going to cut some of my foil off because my foil sheet is fairly big and we don't need all of this foil. You may also notice that there's a, sort of a shiny side and a dull side to foil. Um, now, if you like the shiny side better, then you should put the shiny side out. If you like the dull side better, then you can definitely just put the dull side out. But I tend to like things shiny, um, especially with the idea that that they would use this to, to trick people into thinking it was silver. I think the shinier, the better. So, um, once I have my, um, my foil square covered, I'm going to flip it back to our front side. Ah! And for the indention part of the picture, ooh, there you go. That looks cute. So I just started with an outline around. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go do the inside. Sounds good. But I keep sticking to it. Um, so for the indention, I'm going to take my, um, the end of my paintbrush and draw with it. You can also take your pencil and you can poke your lead inside and you can draw with it. We're, we're going to try not to, um, scrap, like scratch the foil so that it rips and causes a hole. We just want to draw into this, the foil. So one of the things that was popular in South American, um, art is the Aztec sun. That was one of the things that I saw a lot of, um, some of the folk, um, the folk animals were very popular. Um, I started to do a sun, but I had also thought about doing a fish. And you're just gonna push down a little bit to make your, um, to make your picture. You know, I really had doubts that the yarn would stick very well with the glue stick. But it really is sticking very good. Oh, good, good. I feel like the tricky part about that might be um, putting the foil down because I feel like the um, foil is gonna have to um, go. You have to press the foil down in in between where the art or the yarn is. Okay. Right. So now I'm gonna just cover this, right? Yes. You're gonna cover it. Are you gonna do shiny side up or the less shiny side up. Mm -hmm. Questions, questions. Yes. I liked the shiny side up. Well, I'll try it with a non, so we can have both. Okay. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. So my goal is to push it down all the inside the, my design, right? Yes, you want the design to stand up from your art because I'm doing the embossed. Yes, that's right. So it's a raised design and yours is an indented design. Yes. You almost kind of created a labyrinth. I like it though. Now, I think that if you have trouble, like I did, I ripped mine. Like um, I was telling you, like I was warning you not to do, um, my guess is you might have foil in your kitchen. So oh, yeah. you might be able to replace your foil square if it's ripped. You may be able to just go to your kitchen and get another piece of foil. 
And if I was gonna redo this, now my, my drawing's almost done, so I don't wanna start over from the beginning. But if you were gonna do this, again, you could just take your foil piece and put it right on top. I don't think you would need to take this off or anything like that. Um, now, <clears throat> once you have your design sort of drawn or um, worked, it, if you've done the yarn, um, I'm gonna start coloring in my design using my Sharpie markers. And since I did an Aztec sun, my goal is probably going to be to use orange and yellow, maybe some red. And I may want to do a little bit of um, shading on my um, on my indention with perhaps my, like a dark color. I noticed that there was a navy blue um, and I don't have black this time around. So I might do a little bit of shading with my navy blue. Um, so anyways, once you have, oh, I love it. It looks so good. I bet that's, so with the embossed, I think that um, that is going to stand out even more once you add some colors into it. So I just start coloring it? Yep, you really just start coloring it. And you, a lot of times when you look at the, um, South American folk art, you will see that they like to use bright colors in their art. I've noticed this with both Central American and South American folk art, that they use a lot of bright colors. And this would be um, the kind of art that you would probably see a lot of blues and pinks and purples, um, just bright and happy. Colors. Now I drew an Aztec sun and I am pretty sure I'm not a history buff the way that I really should be, but I think the um, Aztecs were actually more Central American than they were South American. Um, but this kind of art was sort of prevalent um, in both Central and South America. And so it's okay that I'm sort of, I'm um, using a symbol that may have been more Central American. At least I think it's okay. Well, I think, you know, you grow and you learn and you learn new facts and you add to your knowledge. And sometimes, I don't think we get it perfect. But That's right. There are times that we get it wrong. But as long as you're learning, I think that's kind of what it's all about this summer, right? Is that we, we're learning about um, other cultures and um, things that are important. Uh-oh, see, I ripped through mine too, even with my Sharpie. Uh-oh. Well, so the key is to do light. Mm -hmm. Light touch. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how's yours turning out? Oh, it looks good. So I was, I didn't know if I was to color into the raised part or into the indented part? I sort of look at it and I think that the raised part acts as an outline. Yeah. I think the raised part acts as an outline. But um, I think you can actually do either. Like you can... Uh, I actually looked at several and um, they were done. They were done both ways, where the color was. Uh, some people did the color on the raised part, or the color in the indented part. Yeah. And some people did the colors um, in the center of where it was raised or indented. You know what? It's nice to know that even in other countries, art is very open-ended and individualized, and you can. It's very true. Do what you like. Um, the other thing that you'll notice, and I didn't pull out supplies to do this, because I sort of felt like you could do this on your own if you wanted to add to it, but on the photo that's in your art, Arts and Crafts book, um, you'll see that they have added a little bit of embellishment using um, 
some beads and some feathers hanging off the bottom, um, hanging off the bottom of the, the art beads. Sorry, off of the pojolata. They used. Ooh, that was a good one. You that did that well. Good. Yes, I had to. I had to concentrate. There was a pause before that came out, <laughs> and that was because I wanted to make sure I did a good job saying it. But on the on the piece that you um, see in your um, arts and crafts, on the picture that's in your arts and craft book, you'll see that they've hung some um, yarn off the bottom with some beads on it and some feathers. I don't think that, I don't know that we've included feathers in your boxes, but I know we've included beads because we're gonna use them for a project in the future. Um, and so the, I know that there's some of those. So if you wanna embellish your um, artwork by adding some beads, I always love to do that. I didn't do it just because I was a little worried. I wasn't sure how long it would take us to do this project. So I was worried about our time. Oh yes. Um, but it is nice if you want to add those kinds of things because it makes your project a little bit um, more three-dimensional and I feel like it just gives it a little bit of an extra, um, a little bit extra. So you have those supplies, you have yarn right here that you could easily glue your yarn on the back of your foil square and just hang it down and then add beads to that. So that would be a way that you can add a little bit extra something to it if you want. How'd your turn out? Good, I like it. I like how bright yours is. Here's my son, my Aztec son. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I like how you did the Yeah. The Sundays. No, I didn't have any red marker in my box, in my, in our selection up here. Mm -hmm. Um, but I may have added red and I think I don't know for certain but I think you might even be able to use your regular markers at home I don't think you have to use shirt. I could be wrong about that It may smear off. It may not dry as well as the sharpie does if you do On the foil because it's yeah. kind of a slit material. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't have a sharpie color that you love you could always try it and see what happens So I'm gonna keep coloring on the yellow. Okay. Sounds good. I thought about coloring in my background a little bit more. Hmm. But this project is not too difficult, but I think it has a nice, um, this project's not too difficult, but I think it has a nice outcome. I think it, the colors look fun and festive on the um, shiny background. Yes. I agree. All right, so week three, South America. That's right. We are on our way to a great journey for this summer. I'm so excited um, to see y'all next week and some fun stuff coming next week to do too. Woohoo, I can't wait to see what we're gonna do. Hope to see you there. Bye.